because when you said about meaning and purpose, there's a few things like Viktor Frankl. He, so he, I've highlighted a couple of things as well. Like I'll just sort of I'll highlight a few things just to show you that I've had a little read. But you've referenced Viktor Frankl and finding meaning and purpose. If you've not read that book, I recommend you read it. Uh, man, man's search for meaning. You should be really sort of person's man for, person's search for meaning because it actually applies to anybody and it's it's lovely and there's a guy that i never even heard of that i just reread this book and this is the thing about this beautiful books like it's like there's a guy called george george bernard shaw and this is this is a passage from i don't know who this person is i need to look him up i got no idea but he's got this passage in this book which i thought was quite good it said this is the true joy in life that being used for a purpose recognized by yourself as a mighty one that being a force of nature instead of a feverish, selfish little clod of ailments and grievances, complaining that the world will not devote itself to making you happy. I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community as, and as long as I live it, it, it is my privilege to do for it whatever I can. I want to be thoroughly used up when I die, but the harder I work, the more I live. I rejoice in life for its own sake. Life is no brief candle to me. It's a sort of splendid torch which I've got to hold up for the moment. And I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it on to future generations. I find it's really inspiring. I did go through a fat part of my life where I think, well, why aren't I getting this? Why aren't this happening? You know, almost like the world should revolve around you, but it doesn't. Um, and that you, if you want something, you have to put in the work. And luck will come. We talked about luck as yes. a skill, right? If you do the work, then you're more likely to be prepared if an opportunity comes to take. And we talked That's about this before, right? 100%, yeah. And this is why I love that passage because it talks about those things. And sometimes we think, this is why I didn't really like The Secret, the book, the book, The Secret. I don't know if everyone, you've read that, but like if you just visualize and, and imagine it's going to happen, you have to take action, you know, to things to happen where, you know, I think they've evolved it now, but, um, you know, you really do have to do something for things to happen. You have to impress upon the world. So there you go.